Hey there, Cherie here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm here with another unboxing of fabric that is headed to the website very soon. I got in a gorgeous array of colors of Case Shot Cottons. And so I want to share with you the colors and we'll get up close and personal, see what the different tones look like. So if you're interested in seeing, stay tuned. Okay, these actually just came in and I just I had to bring them straight to the studio to get this uh, video recorded so I can get these up on the site. Um, I am a huge fan of all things Cave Bassett, just huge fan. He is a color master. He is one of the most creative people in the fiber and textiles industry as far as I'm concerned. And one of my favorite, I'm a, I'm a print person. I, I'm a print person. I'm flowers, I'm prints, I'm all the things. But I absolutely love his shot cottons. They are such interestingly woven fabrics. The colors are always just really pretty, lots of unusual tones. And they mix and match with his incredibly gorgeous colored florals and geometrics so wonderfully so i'm going to get all of these out of the plastic we're going to change the camera angle so we can get up and close and have a view of these different fabrics all right so let's get into these beautiful colors so when they ship the um, face side is usually out so unlike um sometimes when you buy a pair of fabric from the store um, it'll be folded where the face side is in um, usually the quilters cotton fabrics when they ship the face side is out so whether it's printed or woven usually it's out now with these kinds of fabrics they're woven and not printed right and so the right side and the wrong side usually look pretty similar but I just wanted to point that out so this first one here this color is called dawn and it's kind of a basically like a lavender color so when these shot cotton fabrics are woven they're using uh usually two different colored threads or fibers along the warp fabric so the warp yarns which are the ones that go along the length of the fabric are different sometimes subtly but they are different colors them which used along the weft or the transverse um, yarn and so they give a subtle variation in color so that it's not a true like flat uh, solid color so it just it adds a lot of interest this one is really subtle but as we get into some of the other colors you'll be able to see a little bit more um, how these shot cottons differ from regular dyed uh, solid colored fabrics okay but again this one is dawn next up we have pistachio which is a beautiful uh, green color and i'll just give you again an up close you can see here along the selvage you have kind of a blue looking thread with one that has a little bit more yellow in it and it combines to give this gorgeous greenish color or green color so this is pistachio next up we have lupin and again this one you can see the variation a bit more and again as you look along that cut edge you can see and also along the selvage you can see so this one gives almost like a slight iridescent look to it um, really lovely really lovely fabric so this one again is lupin next we have khaki pretty pretty this has a lot of green in it and then some kind of like golden yellow really pretty Next up, we have Camellia. Here we have Wine. Ooh, 
and this one here is called teal this one is appearing to be a little bit more blue on the screen than it actually is at the end i'll show them all lined up sometimes when you put them next to other colors they'll read a little bit more true next up we have pesto this is a just a beautiful beautiful green close to forest green looking this one here is called plum This one is paprika. This is one of my favorites. I love this pumpkin-y orange color. This is paprika. This one here is not reading quite true to the color, but I will put images in at the end that read a little bit more true. This is picking up like it's a more denim-y blue than it really is. Um, this one here is called peacock. Next up we have, this one is called Emerald. And this one is, um, it's actually more of a bluish green. That's the other thing I will say, you know, the colors that are sometimes chosen by fabric designers aren't really the colors that, you know, would match the names for us a lot of times. Like this is very clearly not Emerald Green as a deep, dark emerald green this has a bit more blue uh, in it this color here is called mist and it's a really lovely blue that has some white woven into it very pretty this one here is called bloom and this one looks like it's a mixture of blue and pink threads very pretty here we have opal another one that can read a little iridescent very pretty uh, combination of threads woven together This one here is called Strawberry Blonde, and it's, it's like a typical peach color, a pale peach. Really pretty. There's another interesting combination that can read kind of iridescent at different angles. This one is called Galvanized. We have a deep grape kind of purple. This one is called Aubergine. Just a classic dark purple. Love that. This one here is called Bottle. Um, it's definitely a green, kind of a teal, leaning towards a teal green. Really pretty. Up next, we have Harissa. And this one is also, um, and this is also really pretty, a combination of orange and green. And then we have plum. And this one is, um, again, looks like kind of purple threads woven with a black thread. Also very pretty. It's not as like a reddish, it's not a reddish plum. It's definitely more of a, this is not a reddish plum. It's definitely more of a kind of purpley plum. Okay, so I know at the beginning of the video, I said there were 20 uh, shot cotton prints coming in while I was filming. I got another box delivered with another 10 colors. So let's share these quickly as well. Okay, so the next color we have here is called Shadow. Really pretty. This beauty here is called Air Force, pretty blues with some kind of pinkish purple. Now you can see the purple thread, the raw edge. Then we have another shade of purple. This is called Heliotrope. The 
this color here is called Dusk. And it's a really pretty blue with kind of a peachy color woven together. Really pretty. This color here is called Glacier. And it's kind of turquoise looking. This is a restock bolt. Uh, this is a beautiful um, bright summer orangish yellow called Sunflower. And it is really so happy and pretty. Next up we have Blood Orange. And this one is kind of a mix of a deep reddish maroon color with a bit of, well, it's kind of an orange mixed with a purple. Actually, it looks like, if I look at the red edge. Here we have Pimento. Again, just try to show you the edge so you can see the thread colors a little bit. Here's a beautiful green. This one is called Pine. Love, love this shade of green. And the final one for today, number 30. This is uh, really quite iridescent looking. This one is called Nutmeg. Let's see here. There's some orange and some green uh, woven together. All right. Okay, so. 30 new fabrics, cave sh um, shot cottons getting added to the store as the yardage. And then I'm going to put some bundles together and I'll be back quickly to show you uh, what the different bundles look like. Okay, so the shot cottons will be listed on the uh, site um, in yardage cuts. Actually, I'll probably list it as half yards. And so if you wanted a full yard, you'd pick a quantity of two and they will be cut continuously together. Because I do know, especially with the shot cotton, sometimes people, with a lot of the quilting fabrics, people just want a half yard. So I also um, will be listing some fat quarter bundles. I'll definitely list bundles where you get all 30 colors. Um, I'll list them as fat quarters, like I said. And if you want a half a yard, you would just enter a quantity of two. And you'll get half yard cuts of all 30 pieces. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to make little combinations. Like I'll probably put together... A pastel bundle and then the more jewel tone bundles and maybe I'll put together like a brights bundle um, in case anyone just wants to you know put some of the colors into their quilting stash or their project but you don't need all 30 colors so I will break down and do some smaller fat quarter bundles as well and same thing if you wanted a full yard of whatever is in the bundle you would put in the quantity of four and you'll get one yard cuts of each color. All right. And then I went on and cut out some uh, square and hexagon bundles. And so I have the hexagons available in three sizes. And with these, you will get um, two of each colorway. So you'll get a total of 60 pre-cut hexagons. And I'll do the sizes separately. So if you wanted, you know, all three sizes, you could make separate purchases. If you wanted two sets of these to have 120 uh, hexagons, you could do that. And then I did three and a half inch squares. Same thing here. You're getting um, two pieces of each of the 30 colors. And then I already put together some that have four pieces of the um, 30 different colorways. And those will be great to, you know, sew together and cut into um, nine patch blocks or something like that. You could mix in some prints, some of Cave's prints with those as well. That would be quite nice. Then we have the larger hexagon. Oh, I already showed that there. That's the same as that. So two of those each. And then the final thing I did was the six and a half inch squares. In these bundles, same thing, you have two pieces of each of the 30 colors. And so you'll have 60 uh, six and a half inch squares in these bundles. Okay. 
and I might do some more shapes. I might put up some hearts. Yeah, let me know in the comments if you're interested in other shapes. I could do triangles. I could do parallelograms. I could do strips. Um, I could do hearts. Just let me know in the comments if that's something that might be of interest to you. Um, and maybe I'll put some of those together as well. Okay, my sewing and quilting friends. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed seeing these gorgeous, gorgeous cave facet shock cottons. Remember, I will link to them in the description box. You can also find the website linked on my about page as well as my channel page header. And uh, yeah, stop by. Let me know in the comments what you think about these little hexagon uh, bundles that I put together as well as the squares. And yeah, let me know which color was your favorite as well, all right? Okay, I will see you guys back here again soon for another unboxing. I actually have... I think two more unboxing videos to share. Maybe I'll merge them together into one. And then we're going to start rolling out some very fun projects and tutorials to show you um, some of the ways that I enjoy using all of these gorgeous fabrics that I'm showing you guys. All right. All right. Thank you so much. And I will see you back here again soon. Take good care. Bye bye.